I'm Dr. Carolee Johnson with Quantum Techniques, the most cutting edge healing system in the world. Today I want to talk about neuroplasticity um, because Quantum Techniques has a new scan um, called neuroplasticity that has been tremendously helpful for a lot of people. Um, Donald Hebb, an early pioneer of neuroplasticity and neuropsychology famously said, neurons that fire together, wire together. And then Dr. Michael Merzenich, now recognized as perhaps the world's most renowned neuroscientist, built on, the, on Hebb's work, proving the relationship between our thoughts, neurons that fire, and structural changes in the brain, wire together. Among Dr. Merzenich's numerous discoveries, this one may be the very most important. Your experiences, behaviors, thinking habits, thought patterns, and ways of reacting to the world are inseparable from how your brain wires itself. Negative habits change your brain for the worse, and positive habits change your brain for the better. At Quantum Techniques, we have the ability to test the body and find the past trauma and negative programming that has caused the negative wiring in the brain that causes the rut of negative patterns that are so hard to get up out of. Once the negative beliefs driven by the trauma are brought conscious, it's so much easier to rewire the brain for positive thinking and joy. Um, neuroplasticity can help heal, or clearing neuro, the neuroplasticity issues or the rut issues in the brain helps to heal illness. You know, you can consider the uh, quote by Alex Korb, the author, he was the author of um, The Upward Spiral, using neuroscience to reverse the course of depression one small change at a time. Well, in depression, there's nothing really fundamentally wrong with the brain. It's really just that the particular tuning of neural circuits creates a tendency towards a pattern of depression. And it has to do with the way the brain deals with stress and planning and habits and decision making and a dozen other things. A lot of times it starts in childhood with a harsh childhood or specific trauma or something that you're really angry about and don't realize that it has gone unconscious because you were unable to let go of it at the time. And then anything that re-triggers the anger or that pattern that's been set there from sadness or self-blame or something from childhood gets the same negative dart shot at it from that pattern that's been set in your brain. And once a pattern starts to form, it causes a, denny, a, a dozen, <laughs> it causes a dozen tiny changes throughout the brain that create a downward spiral or what we call a rut. It's kind of like a habit. These things are foundational to depression. Your thoughts create certain chemistry that makes you feel bad, which drives more negative thinking, which causes more chemical reactions in the brain, and it becomes a really vicious cycle of negativity and complaining or just hurting on the inside. And then we all know that, you know, that one person who's continually negative, that one person who uh, never seems to be satisfied with anything or anyone, you know, most likely they've been hurt in the past and they don't really know how to fix it. Well, I can help with that. With quantum techniques, you know, we can do a lot to help with that. Negative people are almost always complainers, <laughs> and worse, um, complainers aren't really satisfied in keeping their thoughts and feelings to themselves, and instead they'll seek out some unwilling participant and then they'll vent. And when you get slimed like that, it becomes difficult to stay positive yourself, but with, the, with, with effort, you know, you can stay on the high road. We all complain from time to time. In fact, researchers from Clemson University empirically demonstrated that everyone grumbles on occasion. Some just do, do it a lot more often than others. Complainers, um, you know, they generally fall into three categories. There's attention-seeking complainers, people who want attention through complaining. They always talk about how, they, how they've got it worse than everyone else and that it's, and, and that's the filter that they see everything through. They feel like they're a victim, you know, poor me. And you know, and there's always usually a reason for that underneath. 
from earlier. And then you have your chronic complainers, and these folks live in a constant state of complaint. It's a deep-seated habit. It's their way of dealing with the world. They're not, if they're not voicing about their what was me attitude, they're probably thinking about it. But psychologists term this as compulsory behavior rumination, defined as repetitively going over a thought or a problem without completion. And ruminating is unfortunately directly related to depress, depression and anxiety. Um, and then there's the low emotional understanding complainers. And these people aren't really interested in your perspective or thoughts or feelings. They just need a sounding board. And it's a loop or an error that they're trying to work through unconsciously. And what they really need is to have an old trauma healed so that they can move on. You know, but is the brain to blame? Well, the answer is mostly yes. But it's become a rut in the brain. And it's usually driven by a heart that's in pain. And when we make that connection, and uh, clear the negative beliefs and the self-sabotage that are driving the original laying down of that rut, then we can clear that rut and change that pattern and you walk away feeling like your load is lighter and the world is a, a good place again. And with quantum techniques, then this can be accomplished because we can go into that, um, the traumas in the past, the beliefs that drive the negative patterning, and clear those things so that you can be happy again. Anyway, if you need help with depression or anxiety, give me a call. I'm Dr. Kara Lee Johnson. You can reach me at www.quantumtechniques.com or just email me at Kara Lee at quantumtechniques.com. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.